Look at that blue sky. Lovely. Today is Monday the 26th of February. And going to be the start of a busier week for me because I have several things to do that mean getting out of town. Most of it I'll be driving to. But today I'm walking to the next town because I have the second of my work coach meetings for universal credit and I have these every three months so I have my last one back at the beginning of December and my next one is today now this past four weeks has been a better better work month for me all my cleaning jobs were in I am earning from YouTube now and all the other little things that I make money from have been performing as expected but two things that I didn't realise now whenever I've done my UC payment input every month which I did I think three or four days ago there's a section at the beginning when you put your income in that asks if you've paid any national insurance and asks if you've paid into a pension and at the end of January I paid my national insurance for the year because I'm self-employed so I do it once a year and that comes to it's either 163 or 168 pounds but it's in there and I've paid it so I filled out that box because it asked me and then it asked have you paid into a pension which last month I started a private pension I paid in 192 pounds because that's what I'm allowed to put in and the government tops it up by 20% that's all I can put in because I'm a non-taxpayer I can put in £2,880 a year and because I've put in my payment set up as an ongoing thing I think it probably thinks that that's all I can pay in so I did that and then I did all my other my income and my outgoings as normal and didn't think anything of it so what I didn't realise is that DWP for universal credit counts national insurance and pension payments as an expense so whereas I had a good income this month and not very big outgoings it's added those two things to my expenses 
So I was really shocked to see the amount of money that's coming into my bank account tomorrow. I can only presume that they're paying this to encourage people to pay their national insurance because obviously that state pension and to encourage people to be saving in other ways for retirement because so few people do but it's ridiculous I think it's stupid because for all the time that I am now on universal credit they're paying for my private pension and I I hadn't considered that I didn't do those things because I thought they were going to give it back to me to me that isn't a, a business expense that's a choice that I've made to try and improve my future but anyway so I need to mention to the lady when I go in today I think I'm seeing the same person as last time but hey I had a good income this month but look at the expenses it's added on anyway so there we are that's being paid for which is crazy <laughs> and for this tax year which ends in two months it ends on the 5th of April. I'm going to make one more monthly payment to my pension and then I'm going to top it up to the full amount before the end of the tax year just to get it on track. And then once the new tax year starts I'll carry on with the 192 a month and then before the end of that tax year I'm going to top it up to the full 2,880 again because most of my savings so what I have I locked away in fixed bond accounts last year because it was the only way to get a decent interest rate they're not as good as they were but they're not um, they're not horrific so as those pots of money get released back to me because they've come to full term, I'm going to find other places to put the money so it earns interest and where I can tops up my pension. So I don't know how that's going to make everything look but anyway. I hope you can hear me okay, it's a really busy main road. But luckily, clear blue sky and sun, although it's very cold. Anyway, I'm going to stop for a bit and stride out. Catch you in a bit. a little bit of time to kill on the way in and I go past an Asda and one of my cashback apps has a, a freebie and by some miracle it was actually there I don't often find things in Asda but um, nothing massive but hey every little helps as they say let's kill a little bit more time and now I'm going to head into my appointment early but not terrifyingly early and nobody wants to be late. I hate being late to things. It's good. Look at those clouds. I'm going to get wet on the way home.
didn't bring a brolly today because it said there was going to be no chance of rain. So, we'll see if that rings true. Look at it. Not looking good, are they? Just about to go in. They, uh, they really knew how to build a depressing building back in the day. I'm sure they were deliberately made like this to be as unappealing and as unfriendly as possible for people that came into the job centres to try and keep them away. Find me a, a happy, nice looking job centre and I'll give you a tanner, maybe. done. God, it was warm in there. Look how warm my cheeks look. Um, like an oven in there. I'd get sleep if I was working in that place. So that went well. What can I say? <laughs> They're happy with the income. Um, and I talk, told them about YouTube now being a, an income stream. And they were like, whatever it takes to make the money. My February income looks really good, but I'm going to do a separate thing on that. It's really gone up. Um, so I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to walk home now. Sunshine. Hey, look at the sun. Got the steps in anyway. Look at that. Blue sky is still blue. So I'm heading home. What's that done? Bye bye. On the way back, I uh, I decided to drop into Morrison's because I was walking past there and it was half full and I thought, ah, you never know, there might be something on a Monday evening. It's always the day when you don't take a good sized shopping bag with you. I had a little rucksack with me and I spent £5.48. Let's see what I got. £5.48. I got milk. Two of these, Cravendales, uh, were 2 .54, now 64p each. So there's more milk for the freezer because I was on my last pint. More pork pies, I don't care. Uh, these were 279 down to 70p. Just roll. Uh, these are really good because you can stick them in the freezer. What I do is I chop them in half, fold it back so they're still in the wrapper, and then stick it straight in the freezer. And a half of one of those makes a nice pastry for fruit pie or whatever else you do. Noodles, 33p. Were 179. Baby plum tomatoes were 89, now 23. Mushrooms were £1.10, now 28. I got two of those because I had no mushrooms in. What cake? Never buy cakes. Um, £1.70 down to 43p. Giant chocolate Swiss roll. Again, don't care. I'm in that kind of mood today. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, here's something you never see grapes. These were 1.99, 50p. I love grapes and greens. Oh, the greens were once uh, 79p down to 20p. And lastly, raspberries. Uh, I'm not going to turn them up because they're leaking. Were 1.79 down to 45p. It's a small thing, but I'll do. 45p. Nice treat. Not often I get veg, so I'm taking advantage of that. As usual, I will put a thing there that says how much I would have spent if I bought, bought them full price and how much I have saved. But that cost me £5.48. And I feel like that's probably going to be my last shop for February. Um, because I've done all this on Monday, I probably won't go tomorrow. Uh, 
but I am definitely having noodles for tea tonight, which works well for me. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.